It was, uh... Anything you do regret? Oh, yeah, a lot of it. I've done some of the things that I did, I don't, uh, do. Like shooting somebody, I never liked that. Like, only if I had to do it. That was where I got wounded the first time when we were going across that field with the tanks, mm -hmm. and I got a, trying to get a medic to check my, where I got hurt. And he was, he was scared. He was so scared I couldn't, couldn't get him to do anything. And I finally got him into a foxhole. I almost had a gunpoint to get him to do anything. And there uh, wasn't anything he could done. And uh, I finally left him there and I went back. And I started back towards Battalion A by this guy, I don't know who he was now, whether he was an officer or what he was, but he uh, wanted me to take these prisoners back. And I couldn't see out of one eye, and the other side was only yeah. about half there. Is this the time you guys got the, the a lot of prisoners? What's the time yeah, you guys got all those prisoners no, that, at one that time? Was, that was before that, or after that. Is that what you, I got what you but meant. I, I had, he had eight or nine prisoners, sir. Yeah. And he wanted me to take them back with me, to take them back. Right. Because I said, okay, and that's as far as that went. And I stood there and counted them as they went by and leaned my rifle against the tree and took off for battalion aid. I guess they're still going. I don't know. I never, I never <laughs> checked to find out. Was that one time, I, I, that one time you guys caught all those? Oh, yeah, we were <clears throat> down on the Alsace Plains. This was uh, later, about two days after that. All these, uh, we captured a bunch of German prisoners. It was all in one big bunch. We uh, coming out. We were coming. They were coming out of the woods, and uh, well, they, they just, saw us coming. They just gave up. They gave up. Yeah. How many? Well, there was a hundred and I think 118 of them all together. But we got them. Uh, it was getting towards the evening. We got into this little farm. And we didn't know what the heck to do with them, and uh, there was a good, pretty good-sized chicken house, and we herded them into that. Locked the door, and we went back, and holed up. There was only about eight or ten of us at that time. We holed up in a in the barn up in the haymow. We had a big door on the top we could see out. And cold, oh God, it was cold. I froze my feet that night, I remember. Was that when you got your feet hurt? Yeah, that's where I got my feet frozen. Uh, uh, long about three o'clock in the morning, none of us was sleeping very much because we didn't keep track of the German prisoners we had, and it was so cold that you couldn't sleep anyway. There was a German patrol came through. And everybody kept real quiet. And we let them go. They come right through town, walked right by the chicken house, <laughs> took the other side, the other side of the house, right out through. We never said boo. They didn't say boo, they kept on going. They never knew. They yeah, had the they prisoners there. there, and the prisoners never even, I guess they were trying to keep warm. So they never said much of anything. <laughs> Your light's blinking. Yeah, it's getting close. So uh, anyway, uh, we got away with that one. Come to find out the next morning when we uh, left out of there with the prisoners and everything, we was 10 miles behind the light. Can you believe that? The night, the morning you were that we left. 10 miles in German line. You know, we was behind our, yeah, the German lines at that time. When we got there that night, we was about 10 miles ahead of it. We were traveling that fast. And it, uh, you guys could have been cut off. Yeah, we could have, but we didn't. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> he was looking out for us. We caught another bunch going into the brush, too, that night, uh, the next day or so. Uh, we fi I fired a whole clip at him. I don't know how many was in that bunch, but they were quite a ways away, a couple hundred, three hundred yards or so, going into the woods, and we never, uh, I mean, we just let them go. They were fighting pretty, were the Germans fighting pretty hard this time? At that time, they were giving up. They were giving up? They were giving up by, uh, yeah. Christ, by the dozens. Yeah. You could start out in the morning, and when you wound up that night, you could have, like I said, we had 118 prisoners. There was only about eight or ten of us. <laughs> it was funny. Wow. There was a while there. Yeah, I think that was about the same time. Was Greg was on one end of them, and I was on the other, and uh, we were bringing back a hell of a string, big string of them. And 
and uh, Greg was up front and I was in the back. He fell down. I don't know what to do, it was snowy and slippery. One of them, before I could do anything, get up there, why one of them or two of them would grab him, put him back on his feet, hand him his rifle, and away we went again. <laughs> they, they were giving up by home. They were ready. Oh, they, were, they were going. They were ready. Well, we were getting one right after another there for a while.